Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Hacienda. Ribbon here. Today, we're making something delicious on the Weber Grill. We're making barbecued meatloaf. Now, this is uh, the meatloaf is my wife's recipe. Uh, she came up with it with a special twist ingredient. It's mushrooms, finely minced, mixed into the meat will help uh, release their moisture and make the inside of the meatloaf nice, fluffy, tender, and moist. Uh, and you, we don't have that dried out, hard, nasty meatloaf that all of us are familiar with. Uh, we're also going to feature Chef John Polite's chili seasoning and dry smoke rub as a flavor and a rub for the meatloaf. And uh, I'll show you how we're going to fix it. Stay with me. Alright, and now what we want here is exactly 12 saltine crackers. Um, we're going to make uh, a meatloaf with 3 pounds of burger, and there are 4 crackers per pound of burger. Thus, we got 12. And while I'm crushing them, uh, I want to give a shout out to a new channel I ran across. It's called Dave's Cooking. And uh, I'm going to put the link here in the little box. You guys go check him out. That guy is a chef in his own right. I don't know that he's a real chef, but uh, he puts out some Asian food that will knock your socks off. Um, he's a good guy, and his food is beautiful. Not only beautiful to look at, but beautiful to eat. I can imagine. His cooking is delightful. So check him out. Tell him I sent you. Tell him I said hello. Uh, like and subscribe his channel, okay? Dave, you rock. All right, what we got here is uh, three pounds of uh, lean meat, ground beef, that's uh, 90-10. Uh, we buy half a steer every year, and uh, we request the processor to uh, um, cut it that way. Now, we're going to add one scant teaspoon of kosher salt, one heaping teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one beaten egg, the 12 crushed saltine crackers, oh about half teaspoon, three quarters teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper, and this is just eyeball, uh, we never really measure this. Now remember those minced mushrooms? Uh, I made enough for the two meatloaves, so we're going to add half. It's about one cup of uh, finely minced mushrooms, and about one cup, three quarters maybe, of minced onion. Then the pièce de résistance, Chef John's uh, dry smoke rub seasoning, and we're going to put a generous tablespoon or two in there. Okay, because this stuff is worth its weight in gold. And then, of course, the only way to make, make a meatloaf is with washed and sanitized hands. Get in there and make it happen. All right, don't want to work the meat too much, but we certainly want to get all these wonderful flavors combined. All right, so we formed it into a meatloaf shape, and um, we're going to hit it one more time on the outside with uh, Chef's Rub. Oh man, smelling good. Now this baby's going in the um, in the fridge for a couple hours to firm up, and then we're going to put it on the grill. All right, we're 45 minutes in over charcoal and a chunk of hickory, and uh, they're looking good. Now it's time to rotate them. There you go. 
Okay, they're temping out at 120, and we want to cook them to about 175. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat one with uh, Famous Dave's uh, Rich and Sassy Original Recipe Barbecue Sauce. The other one I'm going to leave naked. So we'll take some sauce and paint it like so, right nicely. And we're going to let that cook on. And I'll do it one more time just before we pull them off the grill. Okay, here we go. Uh, 180 degrees internal temperature. Well done. Right off the Weber barbecue. Yum. Looking absolutely delicious, isn't it? Let's go ahead and slice it open. Let's take a look inside, and you're going to see how moist and delicious it is. All right, let's go ahead and slice this baby open, and we'll see what's going on right here oh yes dainty tenderness ta-da look at that let's get a close-up in there mmm smelling delicious too you see the the trick of this recipe is, is mushrooms that are combined all over the meat in there are releasing all their juices and moisture as it cooks which yields a very tender and fluffy meat in the center, not that hard, nasty, you know, diner meatloaf that we know. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, people, and thanks again, Chef Polite, for your seasoning. This is absolutely fantastic. Hey, people, don't forget to uh, go to his website or his channel, uh, like and subscribe, and tell him I sent you. Bye-bye.